Welcome to my third project using holiday cards we received this year. I'm Ronnie from the blog Our High Street Home. If you'd like to see how I made this bottle, then please keep watching. So this is not the card I'm using on this project. I don't have that footage of how I prepared the card to decoupage onto the bottle I'll be using. But I use this one as an example. I wet the back and peel as many layers off as I can get from the back of the card. And then I gently rub the back and kind of roll away any extra paper I can without damaging the front. And then I cut out the shape that I want to put on my bottle. Now this is the piece I'm doing. So I always re-wet the card material before placing it onto the bottle because once it dries, it starts to stiffen back up. It's not like using rice paper or napkin. So you have to get it a little bit dampened again so it softens. I also try to help the water soak in just using a sponge. When the paper is dampened like this, I find it easiest to apply using a saran wrap. And then I just smooth it all down before removing the, the saran wrap. That way my sponge doesn't stick to my picture and possibly rip it. Then I put a nice thick layer of Mod Podge over the entire picture. And I should point out, I did not paint this bottle first because the paper is pretty thick and I don't have to worry about the image looking transparent. It won't. It, it'll look like a solid image even without the paint behind it when I'm finished. Now I started painting this bottle with the thought that this blue that I mixed would be the color that I was going to stick with. And I put two coats of this on, but as you'll see, uh, I kept changing my mind and that happens sometimes when you craft.
So once the blue paint was dry, I thought I might attempt kind of a crackle effect. So I have had luck doing this in the past. It didn't work as good on this project, but this is how I did it. I put a good thick layer of Mod Podge over the entire project. While the Mod Podge was still very wet, I put a coat of white craft paint over the wet Mod Podge. Then I got a hair dryer out on a very high heat. I dried my paint. Now I've had some pretty good luck getting some crackling with this method and it just didn't work that good with this project. I knew the borders of this picture were going to need to be concealed, so I started out by just with a, using a bright white paint and highlighting the borders around the entire image. So as you saw, that blue really didn't come through, and in this part I'm just really mixing colors. I brought in pinks, I brought in some light blues, I tried to use some lavender shades by mixing paint, just to try to bring out all those beautiful colors that were in the picture. And that's just what I was trying to do, just bring more colors that were in my picture to all the painted portions of this bottle.
In this part, I'm just bringing in more definition around my picture. I've been using texture paste on my Christmas projects and I really love the effect it gives. So for this one, I am just using it around, again, around my picture like I did on the last two. And I just keep adding it until I look like it's, um, it, it kind of gives like a snowy effect and it hides that thick edge on thicker papers and I'm also going to put it around uh, the top portion where the white is right underneath the tape there and I just keep working at it. It dries quickly so you can kind of build it up and that's what I did until I got the look that I liked. I even put a little bit on the picture itself on the rooftops. For sparkle on this project, I decided to add Galaxy Glitter by Deco Art. I don't have a picture of it here for you, but it is the same company that makes Triple Thick. And it goes on a little milky, as you can see, but it dries very clear. And I added two layers of this. It wasn't so sparkly on the first layer that it was too much so two layers was great and plus it's a sparkly varnish so it gives it lots of protection So here is the Deco Art Triple Thick. And I'm gonna put a little bit on a small brush and I'm placing it all around the picture. And I'm also gonna place it around the top um, of the bottle where I had placed the other white paint. And then I'm gonna sprinkle it with even more sparkles while this Triple Thick is still wet.
to put some finishing touches at the top of this bottle, I had some pieces of lace in my stash and I took four pieces and glued them on separately around the top and I just used Mod Podge for that. gemstones or beads and with a combination of hot glue and E6000 I glued those to the top of each piece of lace. Now to finish off, I had these little strings of like flat pearls and I put those around two areas around the top of the bottle just for a little finishing touch. And I went back and forth a lot with the paint on this one, but I'm really happy with the end result. And sometimes that happens. I hope you like this project and if you liked it, please leave me a like and share and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.